and that and what's a fact? Dang it. <laughs> hey there and welcome back to Life of the Beckers. Today we are doing an unboxing kind of of some markers, a little unboxing slash test. So yeah, we have a 3D printed mushroom that I designed and we'll be coloring it and uh, testing out some permanent markers. So let's check out the Becker bullets and we'll get coloring. All right guys, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna be unboxing some permanent markers. So these ones are not Sharpies. These ones are an off-brand Lelix. So these are Lelix permanent markers. I'm gonna test them out. These ones were $10 for 30 of them, so a really good price. And I have this 3D printed little ring here that I made specifically for this with 30 sides on it so that I can just put a little bit on each uh, little section and know how they'll turn out on PLA. So there's not really too much to the unboxing. There you go. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll just uh, start painting these up and I'll show you guys what it's like in the end and we'll go from there. So it's like a light, flexible plastic. Probably not a travel case. But then otherwise it'll just tuck right in here. Maybe you should keep the adhesive. Well, no, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay, so the red line is where I started there. So it went on pretty well. It did kind of like leach over a little bit into the other segments. And also maybe it's just because I'm not perfect with it. But that's pretty good. Just one coat on there. And now I'll just have a nice little reference for what all these will look like. And that way we can decide whether we like the acrylic paint or the permanent marker. Time for test number one of our permanent marker set. We're going to color one of our PLA prints that we've already done. This holds our video games for our Nintendo Switch. So we're going to just go ahead and customize it a little bit further with the markers. So let's check that out. All right, first um, mark that I'm going to leave. A little nervous, but here we go. This one is like a nice bright pink. I'm going to kind of mark out my plan here. All right, here we go. All right, finishing touches on the top. So we are all done with that. Gonna let it sit for just a minute and not let everything dry before I touch any more of it and smear it. But there we are. Pretty happy with it. Getting started on the bottom here. Okay. 
All right, plan is all set. Here we go. tour so we have our top done we also have the underside of the top and the bottom so there we are a little custom mushroom game holder 3d print and now colored with this new permanent marker set and now we will practice them on a coloring book page and see how they look just gonna kind of go through the colors here, starting with the red side. done with all of the colors from the set so without reusing any of the markers I went ahead and started and this is all of them so this is a full set here kind of just all together on one page no repeats <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to get these back in here. 
don't know exactly how well they're all gonna fit in here, so just wanted to kind of show you guys too. And honestly, you're probably not supposed to take them all out and then rearrange them. Maybe just try to use like one at a time or something like that. Heck yeah, actually not bad. And that looks way better to me. I don't know about you guys, what do you think? Anyway, I think that just about does it for this one. Thanks again for watching, and back to you, Jesse and Karin. All right, thanks, Jess. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a review. They're great for the PLA. It does kind of make them a little bit sticky to the touch, but it doesn't really leave any residue on your hands. Um, if you're using it outside on the PLA, then it will uh, fade with time and make sure that it's like really clean otherwise it won't go on very well um, but other than that it looks good on the paper it, the colors really pop so that is excellent yeah very satisfying to like color with it has a nice like tip to it um, Jesse did mention a little bit of bleeding there is a little bit and I'm not sure I don't really color with sharpies so I don't really have a good comparison to like name brand but um, it did bleed a little bit so I did have to be careful of that but other than that honestly super satisfied with the result especially for the price very happy but yeah so thanks again so much for watching like subscribe share um, if you have any ideas or if you really liked that let us know in the comments below definitely um, but yeah thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye It's not funny time now. Oh, that must be the operation limit. Yeah.